Hello grade 12s and welcome to arithmetic sequences. You are going to be so pleasantly surprised when you hear that arithmetic sequences is just another way of saying a linear number pattern. So I'm really not sure why we always refer to number patterns and linear number patterns pretty much up until grade 11 and then suddenly in grade 12 we call it an arithmetic sequence. It's exactly the same. Think about the word arithmetic. It's adding and subtracting, right? If your arithmetic is really good, it means you're skillful in adding and subtracting. So a linear number pattern is merely an arithmetic sequence, which is just a number pattern um, that is generated by adding or subtracting the exact same constant value every single time. So I'm not going to waste any time. Um, I've jotted down the general formula, Tn equals A plus N minus 1 times D. This is the formula we've used probably since grade 9. Um, and as just a heads up that the textbook uses a different general formula. If you're interested in that, read the examples beforehand. They do explain it very nicely. But just for the sake of consistency, I'm going to stick to this formula here. Right, determine the 38th term for the following arithmetic sequence. First things first, you could continue the sequence. You could identify the pattern intuitively and go on until you reach the 38th term. But it could be much faster if we just find the general formula first. So basically, we're going to find a value a and a value d in this formula and simplify it and then substitute in the number 38 in the place of n and that's the way we'll find the 38th term. Now can you remember what is a? I haven't typed this up so jot it down if need be. a is your first term always. a equals t1 and d D is your constant difference. Now, can you recall yesterday when we did quadratic number patterns, we noted that the second row of differences was constant. With linear number patterns, just like the gradient of a straight line is always the same, it's a constant value, the, the difference between these values will be constant. So I'm going to pick up the pace because you're probably bored of hearing my voice since this is so easy. Um, let's hurry up and find the general formula for this so that we can find the 38th term. I see the difference between 4 and 8. If you can't see it in your head, you can say minus 8 minus minus 4 and you'll get negative 4 on your calculator. Term 3 minus term 2 is negative 12 minus negative 8 will give us negative 4 again. Aha! First difference is constant. We are on the right track. We have a value for D. It must be negative 4. Straight from the question, this is the very first term of the sequence has given us our a value of negative 4 as well and now we substitute that into our general formula and simplify and you'll get tn equals negative 4n. I'll be very impressed if you noticed this sequence is merely the multiples of 4 with a negative in front of them. Any number is multiplied by 4 with a negative in front of it, just like that. Now, how are we going to find the 38th term? You substitute 38 in the place of n, and voila, it gives you negative 152. Easy. This one is slightly more abstract, but equally as simple in the in the sense that you follow the exact same process. The main thing you need to remember is that linear number patterns, aka arithmetic sequences, have a first constant difference. Okay, the first difference is constant. So if we were to jot down this um, formula, this number pattern, we could label this first term. Don't be afraid because it's a variable p. It's still term 1. Likewise, 2p plus 2 is term 2, and 5p plus 3 is term 3. Since we know the difference between the term is constant, why don't we equate t2 minus t1 and t3 minus t2? Once we substitute in the relevant value for t3, t2, and t1 in terms of p, we can solve for p. So look at how instead of t3 minus t2, I said 5p plus 3 minus 2p plus 2. Because 2p plus 2 is a binomial, it is essential that you 
put it in brackets. This negative needs to be distributed. Right, I'm going to give you a second. Pause this video and try and solve for P. And three, two, one. Here's my evaluation. I simplified the left-hand side, brought over my P's, took over my constants, and ended up with P is equal to a half. Please let me know if this is wrong, um, but I'm quite sure it's okay. So number one is chuff chuff. Done. Thank you. We have found P. Number two is asking us to find the general formula for the sequence. So remember your general formula is Tn equals A plus N minus 1D. We need to find the A and D values, but we first need to generate the actual sequence. So we can't work with P anymore. Let's, equ let's replace P with what it's equal to. So P is equal to a half. 2p plus 2 is actually going to be 2 times a half plus 2. And 5p plus 3 is actually going to be 5 times a half plus 3. So the sequence we're actually working with, despite it looking scary with its fractions, it's still arithmetic, it's still linear, is a half, 3, 11 over 2, so on and so forth. This can go on to infinity. Now, the a value is easy, it's a half, and the d value... Pop, whip out your calculator, quickly check. What is 11 over 2 minus 3? And then confirm your answer. See if it's the same as 3 minus a half. If you need to jot that down, do so. Um, for I've just done it on my calculator, and I've put the D value in as 5 over 2. A value, term number 1, A value is a half. So pop that into our TN formula, simplify, and you'll get TN equals 5 over 2N minus 2. Remember, we can, once you've generated this general formula, it's really, really fun to ask you to find what is the value of the hundredth term or which term has a value of a specific number. Note the difference between those questions. What is the value of the 49th term? They are telling you the n value. So you replace n with the number in the question. If I say which term has a value of 200, not to say that it's going to work out, but I'm just using it for an example. Which term number, if they're looking for a term, then you are looking for n. So you replace the entire left-hand side of the equation, the whole tn, with whatever number's in the question. Okay, guys, enjoy your homework for the day. Reach out if you have any queries and savor this really, really easy section. Um, and hope I can't wait to see you soon.